So let's take a look at serverless services on AWS. And this is not including all of them because we're looking at the most purely serverless services. Uh, if we try to include all the serverless services, it would just be too long of a list. Uh, but let's take a look here. So um, before we do, let's just redefine what is serverless. So when the underlying server's infrastructure and operating system is taken care of by the CSP, serverless is generally by default, highly available, scalable, cost-effective. You pay for what you use. The first one is DynamoDB, which is a serverless no SQL key value and document database. It's designed to scale to billions of records with guaranteed consistent data return in at least a second. You do not have to worry about managing shards. You have simple storage service S3, which is a serverless object storage service. You can upload very large and unlimited amounts of files. You can pay for what you store. You don't worry about the underlying file system or upgrading the disk size. We have ECS Fargate, which is a serverless orchestration container service. It is the same as ECS, except you pay on demand per running container. With ECS, you have to keep a EC2 server running, even if you have no containers running, where AWS manages the underlying server, so you don't have to scale or upgrade the EC2 server. We have AWS Lambda, which is a serverless function service. You can run code without provisioning or managing servers. You upload a small piece of code, choose uh, how much memory you want, how long you want the function is allowed to run before timing out. You're charged based on the runtime of the service function rounded to the nearest 100 milliseconds. We have step functions. This is the state machine service. It coordinates multiple services into serverless workflows, easily share data among lambdas, have a group of lambdas wait for each other, create logical steps, also work with Fargate tasks. We have Aurora Serverless. This is a serverless on-demand version of Aurora. So when you want most of the benefits of Aurora, but tr uh, trade, you have to trade off those cold starts or you don't have lots of traffic or demand. So things, serverless services that we could have put in here as well as like API Gateway, AppSync, AWS Amplify. Um, and those are like the, the first two were application integrations. You could say SQS, SNS, those are all serverless services. But, you know, again, we'd be here all day if I, I, I listed them all, right?